So, so um, uh, my question is about uh, how do you balance between family and ibadah? Let's say men, like uh, we have uh, children to take care of, we, we're helping our, our wife, and perhaps we, we are taking care of parents, right? Um, we have, I mean, we have different challenges at home. But then, if we go to, sometimes there's uh, that, that guilty feeling that if we go to masjid, then we're leaving our partner, our parents at home, right? So, it's a matter of balance. How, how do we do that? Okay, first of all, I did a lecture maybe 15 years ago on Peace TV in, in Mumbai called The Balance in Islam. I don't recall anything of it. <laughs> but I advise you to watch it. It's a very good <laughs> lecture. Now, having said that, the hadith I narrated about Abu Darda and Salman, your Lord has rights over you, your wife has rights over you, your health or body has rights over you, your guests have rights over you, so give each its due right, is a formula for success. The happiest man on earth who can balance between all of these. And I've said this before. I could be the best businessman. I have the logic. And I have a very clear logic to know what's right and what's wrong. I'm not a gambler. But I know how to find opportunities and to reduce threats and where are the weaknesses and where are the parts of strength I know a good perspective I can manage and lead but if I do this I will be very rich shortly but it will impact my health because I can't go to the gym regularly and I can't attend my wife uh, uh, requests and demands and definitely not see my children because I come home late and I have no social activities so of course religion I can't pray Dhuhr on time because I have a business meeting Fajr I sleep because I was until one o'clock in a meeting overseas in the, the Pacific and it's 14 hours 15 hours difference of timing so it was a business meeting so I had to skip Fajr I can't fast three days every month because I have business lunches and so on I have to compromise my religion because there's a business meeting and there have to be women sitting from the other companies and she's a CEO I have to smile and wink every now and then and maybe she will sign the agreement maybe she drinks and okay I have to pay for the liquor and you get my point okay I'm not gonna do business because it's a lot of haram I'm gonna be a sheikh Wow, I have the ability. You know, those who are 60 years and older, they know the $6 million man. Yeah. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We can make him faster. We can make him stronger. We can make him. So I think, okay, I have the ability to teach, to uh, uh, counsel people, to do this, to do that. And I can benefit people, I can change lives, I can say things that people are happy, which means that I have to travel a lot, I have to devote myself. You know Sheikh Abdullah bin Jibreen, may Allah have mercy on his soul, he used to conduct at least 8 to 12 classes a day. He was one of the highest levels of shuyukh, bin Baz bin Athameen bin Jibreen. That was the ranking, that was 30 years ago. 18, uh, 12? Classes a day before Fajr, after Fajr, and then after Fajr until 10 o'clock. From 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, he takes breakfast and nap, and then before Dhuhr, after Dhuhr, uh, lunch, before Asr, after Asr, before Maghrib, after Maghrib, till Isha, then after Isha. You crazy? This was his daily routine. So, where did he get this barakah, this time, this ability? Allah puts barakah in him. But, was he a good businessman? Of course not, he did not have time. On the social aspect with his wife and kids, yes, he had time because he was always home. Body-wise, was he a bodybuilder, a, a good badminton player? Don't think so. 
um, and, and so on. So, okay, he masters this, but nothing else. You can be an athlete. I can be an athlete. I work, I used to work six hours a day in the gym on daily basis, seven days a week when I was young. So I did badminton, I did squash, I have trophies in squash, I have medals in table tennis, I do bodybuilding, I do lots of sports. Karate, Aikido, and uh, uh, Kung Fu, little, little, little. But then what? I, I, I have to compromise my business, I have to compromise my religion, I have to compromise my social activity. I can be the best of husbands. Sitting with my wife, I do the cooking, I do cook. Excellent smash burgers and steaks. And I use a fryer to do the steaks. Beautiful, after marinating it, you will not eat any steaks after you taste mine. I do this. And I can sit with the kids and I can tell them bedtime stories. I can do, 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 do. But on the account of many things. If I go to the masjid, my wife feels heartbroken. I'm going to sit with you. We're going to pray together. I'm not going to the masjid. Social activities. My mom wants me to go with her to my aunt. Visit. My wife is heartbroken. No, no. I'll take the kids to the park. Saudi Arabia. It's a desert. But we call it park. <laughs> so I do this. I do. At the end of the day, you cannot master all. You have to compromise little, 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 but be balanced. The moment you're balanced, you strike happiness. And the happiest man on earth is the one who can strike this balance. Is it achievable? Very much. Very easy. And with the grace of Allah, I've managed to do this a lot. Yes, I travel a lot. But I also compensate my wife. With the grace of Allah, I take my wife two nights every single month to Mecca. I get her a suite in the Conrad. And I treat her like a queen. But I abuse her the rest of the month. <laughs> so, let's, let's be frank. She's happy. She's happy. All my relatives, I call them at least once every two weeks. Single, younger than me, older than me. I give them a call. That's why we have hands-free in the car. So my uh, uh, road trip is 15 minutes, 20 minutes, traffic jam. I utilize my time. My cousins, my uh, nephews, my nieces, my daughters, I call everybody. Utilizing the time. I go to the gym religiously for the past 50 years with the grace of Allah. And I work out. I try to, <laughs> but the heart is made in Taiwan, it's not original, it's not Japanese. So I do have three stents, alhamdulillah, azza wa jal. But it's working, till now, alhamdulillah. I'm not Tony Stark, but it's working. I try my level best to have a routine in my ibadah. And this is between me and Allah, azza wa jal. With the grace of Allah, I have not messed it up, till now. So I'm constantly on the brink of the normal little minimum things the minimum things but alhamdulillah and i'm happy now i'm not complaining i don't have debts i don't have anybody wanting anything from me financially my kids live like kings and queens yes i don't have a property i don't own a house i pay rent for two houses but i have four cars two drivers and alhamdulillah, I'm living a happy life. Is it achievable? I know everybody is achieving it. But the problem is with the imbalance. The moment you are, Sheikh, but I love my family. You're going to compromise your salat. You're going to compromise your business. You're going to compromise your health. Sheikh, I love to, love to play sports. I have to go and play with the boys every time. Every day we, we go play soccer. Every single day we play cricket. We play badminton. Okay, when are you going to sit with the ch children? When are you going to visit your relatives? When are you going to attend your business? Sheikh, I love to work on business. I'm a workaholic. This imbalance makes you sad. Try to it, do it, and inshallah it's achievable. Allah knows best. <laughs>